it's me, Jenny. Welcome to the spiritual journey. It's been a while. I haven't been on here as much. I haven't had a lot of energy. I've been busy, busy, busy. Um, and you know, sometimes when you're not feeling it as much, or if you're too involved in other stuff, like I've been learning, you know, basic rhythms for work and all that stuff, like taking classes and you know family dynamics and and other issues with myself and different stuff i've been going through and i just haven't been feeling it but i want to get back on here i am starting to slowly put out the videos for each sign i just put out aries i got to do the rest got 11 more to go um so i do want to get the daily so let's go ahead and get the daily we are in march 6th finishing up that last week of the first week of first last week last day of the first week of march well, i can't even talk we're finishing up the first first week of march <laughs> we're finishing it so um we got a couple more weeks till spring equinox i don't know if you about you guys we haven't had too bad of a winter actually so um but it's something to look forward to the uh, the flowers blooming the trees blooming nicer weather to get outside um of course, it also comes the allergies and sinuses, but you know, hey, everything's got a little bit of issue to it, right? And it is almost airy season. Yes. <laughs> I never know how to deal with that. It's always great to have that time of your of your season, but then it means you're a year older, <laughs> right? Now let's go ahead and get into it. And we're going to be going on a cruise in May, so that's getting closer. Love it. So we're going to go ahead and see what our message is from the universe and from spirit today. This Monday the 6th, I might pull some energy for the whole week, but let's go ahead and shuffle a few decks here. I'm also going to go ahead and pull the one of the cards I'm using in the um, astrological sign videos, Angels and Ancestors. We're going to pull one of those as well. And... Let's just get into our messages. I'm just going to shuffle a few cards here, and then we're going to go ahead and get into it. I don't know, honestly, why I am doing that. Let's go ahead and get the angel message first. Angels and ancestors. Man, it's like I've lost my grounding here. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see. Yes, my hair is lighter. I went and got it done. It was like multiple colors, so I was like, you know, I need a haircut. I think I'm just going to go see if a professional can get it a little... Um, or even with the color and it ended up lighter <laughs> so let's go ahead and see what's coming up what is coming up for the collective what is coming up spirit universe give us the best message that we need to hear at this time and thank you for your guidance and wisdom so we have stag trust trust and thrive yes it's all about this trust now aries had that too um, a couple of the daily messages that I'm putting out in shorts add about trust. So it's all about trusting in the divine, trust in timing, trust your intuition, trust, a lot of trust coming in. And then we have Oracle, wait for important information. Yeah, so they're, what I'm getting this vibe is that, you know, you might be a little impatient, you know, wondering what to do, uh, when something's going to happen. And it's saying, you know, you need to open up and trust and, um, you know, important information is going to be coming to you but you also have to pay attention as well and listen you know sometimes if we have our mind too cluttered or you know too much around us too much drama or chaos it can keep us a little foggy or confused or we might be missing the messages sometimes we can overthink so much that we don't even hear the messages because we're just so focused on that overthinking that it just clouds our judgment in our mind and we're just focused on that one area you know what i'm saying um so then we have the medicine mother honor your inner knowing yeah so see this is also about your intuition so what i'm getting with this is a, you know a lot of times we know what the right answer is and what we need to do but we let our fear and overthinking take over and we keep questioning it and and we'll come up with the answer or we'll ask somebody's advice and they'll give us that exact answer and we'll be like no 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 we'll make 50 excuses that's the energy i'm getting so we're going to go ahead and pull one more and then we're going to get some um tarot to to clarify all right, one more. So we have Stag, Trust and Thrive, Oracle, Wait for Important Information, and we have High Priestess, Harness Mystic Power. Yeah, so there's something in your uh, higher being, your soul, your higher self, that has the power to bring something forth or, or um, the knowledge to know how to do so, to bring something forth. 
um, but you are doubting that. You're doubting that. You're trying to, you're being impatient. You're trying to push too much. So there's important information for you to come. Like if you don't know, don't panic about it. It will come. Okay. And then on the bottom now we have take time to reflect. Yeah. So doing some self-reflection, reflecting about things, past lessons, things like that. Uh, maybe even about how you're handling a situation. So I got my heating blanket on. It's cold. <laughs> it's a little chilly. All right, so let's go ahead and get some clarity on this stag. Trust and thrive. Trust and thrive. Let's see what this is about, okay? So trust and thrive. So when we trust the universe or spirit or our own inner self or intuition, that's when we thrive. When we start letting our egos, ego um, mind, like our fears, our doubts, our insecurities, that's when it can cause an issue, okay? And sometimes we can even sabotage ourselves. So let's see what's coming up with this, the stag. So what's this trust and thrive? So we have the six of cups. Yeah, remembering that past stuff. We want to drag all that stuff that's happened to us, all the negative negativity, um, and start doubting ourselves and, and be fearful and all that. So there's something with that, something about our past that's making us doubt things or feel insecure or not sure, yeah. Past disappointments. Mm -hmm. We're focused too much on what went wrong instead of what what lessons we learned or or what could um, happen the, from, from the strength and knowledge that we've learned. We know when we know better, we do better, right? So we can't keep reliving those mistakes and, and things that have hurt us in the past, continue on into our future, because that's just going to keep us stagnant and stuck and worried and fearful and all that. So we need to let that go. And then on the bottom, it could have had something to do with the relationship because we have the two of cups. So it could have been, you know, maybe you didn't feel uh, good enough or you got abandoned or rejected and this fear is coming in okay but you have to trust that the right situation or person will come along and that you know now better you've learned the lessons you know you know you're worth more now you know so you have to do that so let's go ahead and do another deck and get this oracle wait for important information this doesn't have to do about relationships it could be just a connection with somebody even like a um uh, you know, a boss or uh, a friend or a business partner. It could be anybody, okay? I didn't know that two of cups come up here. That could be anybody we're connecting with, you know, that we have that connection with. So let's go ahead and see, excuse me, about this oracle. Wait for important information. See what this is about. Oh, now we have the action card eight of wands so we do need to wait for important information but i do feel like you're going to be getting it and when you get it don't sit on it don't second guess it you know if your intuition is telling you hey this is a message i really need to know this is important information take action on that okay don't second guess don't overthink don't do all that don't hesitate it's time to like if you get that gut feeling that hey this is important information that i just got or this message i just received take action on that all right don't start second guessing yourself. And let's see what else. And I also feel like this is saying, you know, don't jump ahead before you have the answers as well. So it could go either way with that. So like if you're trying to push something that you aren't sure about and you still need some clarity, there are, is going to be important information. It could be any way. It could be you standing in a store and somebody next to you tells you something where you get that aha moment. It could be a sign like a butterfly passing you by, whatever. Just if you get that gut feeling like this is important, then you take action. All right. Yeah. Because if you take action before you do have that clear mind or you're overthinking or something, it could be a, a easy way to be manipulated, tricked, lied to, deceived. So, you know, make sure you do understand what the message is. Um, and, you know, say if you say like, I don't really know what that message is. You're gonna, your gut, your gut, and your um, inner self, your intuition, your higher self is gonna know. Okay, so take action on that. And then on the bottom we have King of Swords. So this could be some truth coming in. All right, and this also could be from a masculine energy. It could be from an air sign. But anyway, this is saying, you know, what's true for you is what you really need to take action. If this something doesn't feel right, don't take action on it. All right. Get, get clear and pay attention to the messages that you're getting. It could be through dreams as well. However you're getting messages, if it feels strong and um, you know it to be true, take action on it, okay?
All right, so now we're gonna get another deck and we're gonna go ahead with this High Priestess. Harness your mystic power. So I feel like there's some kind of gift or strength you have within you, some kind of magical power. Like, and I'm not talking about like, you know, which is a wizardry, just your purpose, your what you're good at. Um, and you might be doubting that, okay? So, and it could be some like, you know, fear that you'll fail, um, judge, be fear of being judged, whatever it is. So let's go ahead and see what this High Priestess energy is about. The, <laughs> the judgment card, yeah. See, you're, you're beating yourself up too much. You're not trusting in yourself. This is a deep revelation. So I feel like some of you, this is what I'm getting. Um, maybe got pushed into something that you knew wasn't really right for you and then it ended up failing. Somebody like kind of talked you into something. I can't go do this. This should be great at it. This is what you need to do. And then you were disappointed um, and it might have left some kind of scars or wounds on you. And this is, you know, saying, you know, do a deep revelation and see like if something failed, were, is that something you really wanted to do? I mean, anyway. So, you know, don't beat yourself up too hard about something, okay? So let's go ahead, do some self-revelation, figure out what you really want to do with life. You know, um, look at the things that has happened to you and where they went wrong and the strength you gained from it and all that, all right? And now we have the Nine of Pentacles. So this could be something that you need to do on your own. This is an independent card, okay? So this is some energy here saying you need to, like, do a deep dive and a deep dive of revelation and figure out, you know, where maybe something went wrong. Maybe you're being too critical on yourself, you know. Um, now you know better and you've gained the strength from it. And you might be doubting that to move forward, okay? So now we have the fool. And it's time to put yourself out there and take a risk. Maybe go down a different road now. And don't be afraid to do that, okay? So now we're going to go ahead and get the last message here. Maybe some advice or something. Let's go ahead and see. See, from a higher perspective, eagle, yes. So, this is looking at the big picture, you know, not focusing on, on that, those one, that one cup that spilled, that, um, you know, the thing that happened that was wrong, the negative thing. Look at the big picture of why things happened and realize some things happen that aren't, that, that don't feel too good for something better to come in. Or maybe because you were on the right, right path or something bad would have happened, you know? Like, have you ever seen... Um, like just here's an example, you know, you're going somewhere and there's a detour on the road or a lot of traffic jam and you're like, oh God, this is terrible. Why am I stuck in this? I'm rushed. You know, I'm missing a party or whatever. And then when you find out later, there was like this really bad accident on the way you would have went normally or something. And then you realize, well, you know, hey, that was something, it was for a reason. Or you missed your plane and then the plane crashed or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So look at the bigger picture of sometimes things look like they were bad, but they actually were a blessing in disguise, okay? So look at the bigger picture of things. The lessons you've learned, um, you know, maybe that person that you would have ended up with maybe was a terrible person and you dodged a bullet, you know? So just really look at the whole thing. This is, say, see or see beyond the current situation, yeah. So this is looking at the big picture as well. So let's get a couple more tarot on this. We're gonna use these ones. On the eagle for the advice, see from a higher perspective. Let's see, that's what the universe and spirit wants you to do. Let's go ahead and get some tarot on that. These cards also have a crystal, so we'll see what kind of crystal might help you this, this week or this day, okay? So we have the tower, yeah, see? I surrender and know how to go forward. So this is all about surrendering, you know, terrible things and crazy things and shocking moments and surprises come out of left field. But like I said, sometimes they're a blessing in disguise. This is, you know, picking up the pieces, settling the dust and moving forward. Okay. Surrendering, you know, going with the flow. And this crystal is, um, rutilate quartz and hematolite. I don't know if I said that right. I probably butchered it. But those are the uh, ones. So, you know, I really feel like here, this is kind of push you into a different direction, but you have to pay attention to those, the signs and synchronicities you're getting, to your intuition. If you don't feel right about something, don't be pushed and forced into it because there is this energy of manipulation and trickery. So some of you could be trying, somebody could be trying to manipulate you into doing something. And it's saying, you know, wait for important information, trust and you will thrive as well as harness your mystic power. There's something 
better for you to do out there or something better for you out there, okay? So trust that, all right? So let's get a couple more tarot. We're gonna get two more and then we'll be finished this message, okay? So five of swords, yeah, see conflict. So I really feel like if you are pushed into something or you rush into something before you know the answers, or out of fear or anything like that there's going to be some kind of shocking ending or or something shocking happen that won't be feeling very good as well as and it's also going to cause a lot of conflict this one says i will heal myself and this is sugar light is the crystal and then this one wanted to come out and it is nine of cups aquamarine i trust in the flow of life yeah, so this is about being at peace and content. So if somebody's trying to push you into something that's making you feel a little stressed or you're trying to rush something along because you don't know, this is saying, you know, go, you know, go within, do some self-revelation. Don't be pushed into something just because somebody else is telling you to do something or it's best for you. And let go of the stuff that's um, happened in the past, you know. Don't be too hard on yourself for making mistakes. We all do. That's how we learn and grow. All right, so that is your message. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Peace. Thank you.